Okay, today we're going to be doing three different types of tests. The first one that we're going to do is the porosity test. So very simply, you are going to get a section of hair and using these two fingers here, you're going to very lightly, just slightly back comb the hair, just to see how much gathers up within your fingers. Now, if it's quite a lot of hair, this is quite a lot of hair which is gathering up here. That's showing that the hair is really porous and that the cuticle scales that we've spoken about are open. Okay, so yet again, we are just going against the grain the opposite way, starting from the end of the hair, going towards the root. It feels like back combing, but I'm not too tight in my fingers. And you just feel on this part of your fingers all the, um, the lumps and the bumps as you go up the hair. Okay, that there is a porosity test, and that's to see how porous the hair is. Maybe um, if you are going to be doing a colour, then the hair would soak up that colour like a sponge and make it a little bit darker, darker than what it should be. Also, if you was going to perm someone's hair, it would soak up that perm lotion and develop a lot quicker. Whereas the manufacturer's instructions might give you um, 15 minutes for perm lotion. If the hair is really porous, it might only take three or four minutes. So it's really important that we do the porosity test. The next test you're going to be doing is the elasticity test. And think of elasticity like elastic, just to see how strong the hair is. Now, if I pull on the hair here, it's quite strong because the hair is dry. But actually, when we wet the hair, the hair becomes fragile. So if when you're washing your hair at home and then you're combing through your hair when it's wet, that is the time that you need to be really, really delicate on your hair because that's the hair um, when it's at, it's got all its tension there. Okay, so when the hair's wet, you've got to be really careful not to stre stretch it or overstretch it. If you overstretch it, it's just going to break and that's why you get a lot of breakage within your hair. So I don't need all of that. That's quite a bit of hair. So we only need to take a few strands. So you can just wet down a few strands and between your thumb and finger, you're just going to pull it and see how strong the hair is. Now, if the hair is coloured or definitely bleached, you'll find that the hair will stretch and sometimes it keeps stretching and stretching and stretch and then it breaks. Okay, that's not strong hair. We are not doing this test to break people's hair. We're actually doing it to see how strong the hair is and to see if I can actually put another colour on her hair. Um, but if she's not having a colour or maybe even a perm, even if I'm blow drying, it will determine what brush I will choose to blow dry with. If the hair is really, really fragile, then I wouldn't put a lot of tension on the hair and really pull that hair as I'm blow drying it. I might just use like a, a flat paddle brush and just brush it very lightly. So your elasticity test, yet again, wet it down and then just stretch the hair and just to see if the condition is poor or if it's good. Yeah, ideally we work on good conditioned hair um, because then the results are a lot better. The next one is just the hair pull and all you're going to do is just gently pull from the roots the hair and just see any strands, see if it, any strands come out the hair. Yet again, we're not doing it to pull hair out of the head, but we're actually doing it to see if um, the hair is thinning at the roots if they're losing a lot of hair. Now, if they're losing a lot of hair, it could be due to the case that they might have a medical condition. Um, they might need to go for a blood test to make sure that they haven't got any thyroid problems as well. Also, um, they could be getting older, so their hair could naturally be thinning and um, uh, coming out naturally from the roots. But one of the, the main thing that people might um, suffer with is stress. And if people are stressed, then they will tend to lose a little bit more hair. Um, we can't tell people to stop being stressed, but we can recommend them to do maybe some um, exercises or maybe look at their diet as well to make sure that they're eating the right thing so that their hair isn't falling out. Okay, so you've got three tests there to practice. Your porosity, your elasticity, and then your hair pull. Okay, if you write down the results, um, 
in the table, then you'll be able to compare and explain uh, which ones are good to work on and not so good to work on.